Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about what's new in iOS 8.3 Beta 3. Earlier today, Apple released iOS 8.3 to developers, and as always, I try my best to cover the stuff for you guys here on my channel because I feel like it's pretty interesting to see what's new in these updates that are going to be soon coming to the public for iOS devices and give you guys a little preview of what's in the near future. So in iOS 8.3 beta 3, there's a new option in the messages section of settings. So if we head over there real quick, let me launch up the settings app and scroll down. If we tap on that and scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see there's a new option that says confirmation or conversation list filtering. When we enable that, it says filter iMessages from people who are not in your contacts. So now when I go back to the messages app, you can see there's two different sections. It kind of looks a little strange at first. One is named contacts and SMS, and the other one is named filtered. The contacts and SMS is the one that you're going to spend 99% of the time in for people that you text every day and all the time. However, the other section that says filtered is for people who contact you that you don't necessarily want to talk to, or there's just numbers that are texting you that are currently not in your contacts. And if somebody would contact you in the section, you could click on their conversation and then actually report them as spam or something like that to Apple. So I think that's actually really cool that you have direct access to people who you don't know technically by not having them in your contacts and people that you do know right at the tip of your little tabs. You can just tap back and forth. Not a huge fan of the design, but I think it is super functional and I kind of like the way it works. As well as this, it also shifts with the Apple Watch app if you're using a device that is compatible with the Apple Watch as you guys can see. This is an iPhone 4S, so obviously I'm not going to find the Apple Watch on here. But if you're on an iPhone 5 and newer, you should be able to see the Apple Watch app now in iOS 8.3 Beta 3. One last thing I want to mention that is super important. Look at how smooth this is on my iPhone 4S. Just doesn't it seem a little strange how smooth it is? There were definitely some performance improvements in this update. Uh, trust me, guys. Just... It feels like, I don't want to say it feels like I'm using my 6 because obviously nothing can change hardware, but just look at how smooth these pages come in. It's, it's kind of instant. It's almost scary how well iOS 8.3 is running on this iPhone 4S. Not that that's a bad thing because it's not. Super, super happy to see Apple finally focusing on improvements for iOS versions running on older iOS devices, specifically devices like the iPhone 4S. Nonetheless, guys, those are the changes found in iOS 8.3 Beta 3. If you enjoyed watching, feel free to leave a like down below and, of course, subscribe for more content related to future iOS betas and updates. As always, this has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.